What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants Franchise. Welcome back. Would appreciate you guys subscribing if you're new. Definitely like the video. Let's try to hit over a thousand likes and I'll try to get the episode out as quick as possible on the uh, on the next edition. So people were saying in the last episode where we got a victory over the Panthers if you did not see 15 to 12 and an absolute barn burner that their offense wasn't really as good as it should have been. And I, I do agree that maybe it's getting too easy, at least defensively. It's because it's been a burden and a struggle offensively. Because this, this offense sucks. People said the team isn't that good. Well, it's not. But the defense has some really key playmakers on it that have uh, really helped us win some of these games. Landon Collins was instrumental in that victory, if you guys didn't see it. Olivier Vernon is certainly good. Damon Harrison is a 95 overall. Dalvin Tomlinson is up there. Janoris Jenkins is up there. So even though we do have some holes, middle linebacker being one of them, but I've been really solid usering with BJ Goodson. Darian Thompson's a real hole. Josh Morrow doesn't really play so much because Lorenzo Carter comes down, and then Eli Apple is not good. So our defense really isn't terrible with the personnel that we put out there. However, I will say, I feel your struggle. Uh, you guys want me to have more of a, of a tough time winning because the sliders are already as impossible as they are. So we're going to turn up some things, and uh, that's going to be CPU run blocking, regretfully, to a 70. And honestly, I feel like pass blocking is starting to play really well. Natural pressure does end up occurring a few times per game, which it should. And then, um, otherwise, I don't really have a problem with any of these. I feel like it plays fairly well. QB accuracy, I'll bump up back to a 50 so the Eagles can absolutely destroy us. And another thing a lot of people were saying is on all Madden, there's, you know, no kick art because that's just how all Madden is. So I talked to Clint Oldenburg. He's the lead gameplay designer on Madden NFL. I DM'd him and I asked him, is this really a bug or is this a part of the game? He says, no, this is a glitch. There's supposed to be a kick arc at some point on all Madden. It's not a part of the game. At least he thinks that's what he said to me. That's exactly what he said. So we either have two options, which is simulate extra points, field goals, things like that. Um, or turn it on to all pro and, and totally figure out somebody else's slider set and that people saying, oh, no, you're not playing on all Madden. You suck. We're going to play on all Madden this one. We're at home and we'll see how it goes. Maybe next episode we'll deal with Landon Collins, but Damon Harrison back in the lineup is a huge addition to the team. They're 91 overall. Oh, you guys excited? <laughs> I'm not. They've got Malcolm Jenkins at a 94 overall. I guess totally a 95 overall in his certain scheme. That is, uh, that's interesting. Because Brandon Graham, if anyone's going to be a 95 overall, it should be him. And Malcolm Jenkins could be an 88. I think that's a really, really generous overall for, uh, for Malcolm Jenkins there. You guys excited? <laughs> me, me too. All right, fireworks in the pyro going off at MetLife as we have a nighttime, Thursday night primetime game against the Philadelphia Eagles. See a couple of mainstays of the Giants team up there in the front. I believe that was, uh, I forgot who one of them was, but Wayne Gallman. I think the other one might have been Sterling Shepard. I can't remember if it was 87 or not, but that's what number Sterling Shepard wears. But I am excited. Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham Jr., Saquon Barkley, Eli. We got some playmakers here. Saquon being one of them. 110 yards last week and a touchdown and a victory over the Carolina Panthers as he gets down. Let's save that for the end zone. But uh, let's get things going here at MetLife. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Will we have a kick arc? We will. Some people are saying it was only a glitch on the road, which, um, I don't, I don't know, maybe. Oh, Alec Ogletree, will you please act like there's a game going on? He makes a play, and then he's like, eh, whatever, and he stands around. Oh, my God. We're really going to try and put pressure on this Philadelphia Eagles team. Their offensive line is good. There are some holes that we can look to exploit, and we're going to try to do exactly that. Damon Harrison, let's tackle him. Somebody bring him down. Josh Morrow is the guy who does it. Third and six. I'm, I'm looking short for Odell. That's my read. There he is. Odell Beckham Jr. Very close to the first down marker. Are they going to give it to us? They are. First and ten. Let's go. There's Odell holding on to the football. 
That was a little bit of a dangerous throw, but I thought he would have the inside. He got it. And Odell breaking out the bow and arrow, moving the chains. This looks like a little bit of a blitz. I don't even I don't even know what side it's coming off of though. We're in bunch. Looks like a linebacker on the on the left side and a safety coming down on the right. I might streak Odell. Oh, we're, I'm gonna get sacked. I'm gonna get sacked. I'm just gonna throw it quick. Sterling Shepard drops the ball. Can you hold on, please? They keep running the ball, and our run defense is easily the best part of our team. You look in our secondary, we have two guys who can make you pay. Landon Collins and Janoris Jenkins. Outside of that, I mean, it's pretty wide open. And that's got a great touch pass into traffic. How does no one pick that off? Oh my God. But that's where they can hurt you. When Carson Wentz is throwing the football. That was a really bad decision. Lucky to not have it intercepted. See if we can get a return out of it. This Eagles team will pressure you. And that's why the running and the short passing has been pretty effective to move down the field. Now, we only have three points. I get that. Um, but as you can see there, I mean, we can't really find much on the ground. Four rushes, three yards. It's just been short passes and mixing in a run here and there. And that's how we've been staying in this ball game. I know we don't have a huge lead. I saw Dell takes a monster shot and holds on. He is such a good player. I'm going to line up like we're going for it, and I'm going to look to run the inside zone. Oh, we could totally get this. We could totally get this with Saquon. Let's run the ball. Saquon Barkley. Open field. Love it. First down. That's exactly what we needed. Playing aggressive. Ran to the opposite side of the blitz. And it was extremely, extremely effective. First down and more. Are they blitzing here? They're blitzing heavy. They're blitzing heavy. How do you know to jump up there? Oh my god. They sent heat up the middle. And on a heavy safety blitz, we have a receiver open. It was Russell Shepard on a, a type of post of sorts over the middle. And he just jumps up and knocks it down. Unbelievable. Why are you showing the one fumble this season stat? I don't want to see that before we hand him the ball. And of course, Brandon Graham sheds instantly. And we're going to be forced to try another field goal. It's funny, we ran the same exact play inside zone against the same exact blitz earlier on fourth down. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, what was I saying? And yeah, we got the four, we got the fourth down conversion and uh, this time Brandon Graham sheds and we don't have a chance. Tried to spin back and, and make something happen, but nope. And of course, they blocked the extra point. They're not even, they blocked the field goal. Let's play action. And that is uh, wide open. Right, I don't really trust my team and man here, but we're gonna run the zero blitz. Actually, am I gonna? I'm gonna double up all Sean Jeffrey, and then user Landon Collins. I don't think that was my man. Why did it? I'm spamming X. It didn't give me a tackle animation. Was I too far away? I don't think so. They're gonna try the field goal though. Something tells me I'm not gonna be able to block theirs in return. Nope. Straight through the uprights and good. Three to three ball game. Carson Wentz, six for eight, 63 yards. If they just passed on every down, I don't know how the defense would really keep up. And we're in man here. They have four wide receivers. We're going to send heat. That's prop. I don't love this look, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, I tried to get over that. I tried to get over to it. It was tough. Really tough when you're in coverage as a safety playing off the ball to pick up the uh, little like quick out, quick flat. There we go, there we go! Olivier Vernon puts pressure on Carson Wentz and gets him for the sack, our first of the game. Comes here in the second quarter. That's gonna take us to the two minute warning. Locked up everything there. He rolled out too far outside of the tackles and OV makes him pay. Actually, let's use your Landon Collins. Oh, great play, Eli Apple. I don't really think... I don't I don't think he knew that it was. I don't think he thinks he did anything right. Because he, he was frustrated. Uh, but I think... The, Carson Wentz just threw it into him and we got the stop. Which I'll take. That's about as much as you can expect from Eli Apple. How is that an interception, dude? 
Of course, we get the football back before half, and I throw an interception right to Jordan Hicks. I got to go into replay mode for this because I don't know how this was the incorrect read. And of course, obviously it was because he made the interception on it. Maybe it was just a great play. But I'm looking at Sterling Shepard on this, on the post. And, I mean, does this not look wide open? It still does. When I threw the ball, so I made the decision right here. That's when you see the animation starts right here. See, he's breaking into the open space. This is wide open. Look at all this space. Eli throws it. Jordan Hicks jumps. Oh, I don't know. 30 feet in the air. It doesn't look like not 30, clearly. 45, maybe. To make this play. Was this like, how do you make this play? Sterling Shepard is wide open. That's so tough. All right, manned up against Darren Sproles. Oh, that's mine! How do you like it right back? Use your pick with Landon Collins. Let's go, baby. Easy reads. The hungry caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar. I'm very hungry for the interception. Landon Collins came right back across the field and stole it right back. We're going deep. Give me a deep shot. Give me a second to throw this ball. Odell Beckham Jr. Burns him. It's overthrown. No. Oh, there's was a lot going on there. They're going to throw it up, lob it up. And that is a, another drop pick by like three different giants. And man, it has, been, it has been a tough half. We got 20 minutes of action remaining. Let's really try to extend the lead. Three to three is not what we want. I mean, I'm fine with the Eagles having three, but I need at least a little bit more. There we go, Jarrell Adams. Oh, he's fast, he's fast. Of course, I got a tackle battle that I didn't win. But uh, besides the one interception, Eli's played okay. We've been very, very conservative, so his numbers really should look as they do. But we need, we need points. This could kill. This could kill. Oh, I like... I like Evan Ingram there. I like Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram, one hand touch, a one tackle battle. We get a second, I can't pull it off. Evan Ingram inside the five. Get the streak, hot route there, and the huge, huge play. Came out trying to run the football, and I didn't really like the front that we had, or they had. And um, I don't like that cornerback out there. I'm gonna change again. I'm gonna do that to Odell, and we're gonna look for Odell coming across the middle. And there he is. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, pressure, Eli misthrows the ball. Can't find our stud wide out. This is a heavy box. We're gonna throw the ball anyway. There's Odell, holds on, touchdown, let's go. Playing aggressive pays off. I'd rather not see Odell do whatever that whip is, but he's going for it, so. I'll take it. We're gonna move up 10 to three over the Philadelphia Eagles. And who would have thought that we would have the lead in this game at any point? Yet yeah, we've had it twice. This being the second time for those who are students of math. That's a great touch pass. That's a great touch pass. Beat me over the top with BJ Goodson. Had basically one-on-one -on -one with Zach Ertz. And uh, you guys believe that controller that's plugged in can become disconnected? I didn't. That's just, that's just wide open. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure what happened on that one. I I mean I feel like we should have been there with Alec Ogletree, but I wasn't on Alec Ogletree. I think Alec Ogletree, and of course I'll see this later when I edit it and it is now 10 to 10 they answer immediately I f I think Alec Ogletree should have been right on that and he was nowhere to be found maybe he had to cover two guys just just good offensive play for our defense maybe quick look to Odell might have been intercepted oh I wanted it I wanted it Sterling Shepard upfield we're taking the shot Eli please he overthrows Sterling again Eli loves a good overthrow. He loves a good underthrow. Basically, anywhere where the receiver isn't. That's Eli's wheelhouse. Oh, Landon, please! 
Oh, he almost makes a huge play. Said Zach Ertz picks up the first down. You're going to call that a first down, but not what Saquon Barkley had? That's unbelievable to me. All right, third and seven. This is a huge play, and we're sending heat. And that's got to be an interception. It is Eli Apple. He's going to be in a foot race with Jason Peters. Peters will not have a chance. And Eli Apple in the Big Apple taunting Carson Wentz all the way to the end zone. 95 yards of the house for Eli Apple. I would have sooner expected an interception return to the house with Damon Harrison for 95 yards before Eli Apple actually makes a play. Unbelievable. We don't end up paying. It ends up paying up or off for us huge as Eli Apple puts up points on the board. I, I don't believe it. Eli Apple might be the player of the game. <laughs> That's mine. What do I... What do I do there better? Nothing. Nothing. How? I don't get an animation. Zach Ertz is the one that gets the animation. He has seven recep receptions for 113 yards. And a big chunk of it is right on that play when I'm right there. That is unbelievable to me. Oh, no. Oh, ball's loose. Oh, someone get it. On our team, Landon Collins forces the fumble. His hit power is huge. No one recovers on our team, so that's that sucks. Oh, that's a sack. Let's go. Dalvin Tomlinson shuts down Carson Wentz. We had the entire field locked down. He couldn't do anything. That's probably going to take us to the end of the third quarter here. I would doubt they get a playoff. They might go for it, though. They're going to actually run the ball. Dalvin Tomlinson says no. Again, 17-10 Giants at the end of three. We're in business. Hold on. Let's go. Damon Harrison on the pressure and the sack. This defense is starting to be relentless. 17 to 10 Giants. We get the football back. A score would really, really help us out here. Evan Ingram burned at the start. Oh my God, Eli. Oh my God, we turn over the ball right back. We had Evan Ingram deep. Pressure got there too quick. They sent the blitz. Two guys got it anyway. So it doesn't even matter that they sent the blitz. And forces the errant throw. And Eagles have it right back. Our offense is killing it today. Oh my God, Janoris Jenkins. Can I give you a bonus right now? What a play. It's man blitz time on third and nine. Let's go ahead. Let's base a line. And let's shut it down. Pressure off the edge. It's Lorenzo Carter. That might be his first NFL sack. We got four sacks this game. We're turning up the heat. And three of our four sacks have come here, uh, what, in the last two minutes? This is unbelievable. Dude, I'm trying to spin right into the block for you, Will Hernandez. I gave you the perfect opportunity to do anything there. He stands around and he watches. Offensive linemen don't have to worry about catching the ball, running the ball. All you have to worry about is blocking. You can't stand still. So Philadelphia is back and threatening past midfield now. Um, I mean... I'm really going to pin that a lot on Will Hernandez not picking up a key block because if we do, that's a first down and we don't have to give them the football back, yet we don't end up picking up the first. I mean, it's just like the blocking is coded. It's, it's not Will Hernandez's fault. I'm, gonna, I'm blaming it on the gameplay here. Is Landon Collins going to pick off the ball? His second of the game. Go, Landon. He's out of energy. Whatever. We got the football back. It's coded to where the offensive linemen almost never pick up the ball or pick up the block in open field that they're supposed to. And it ends up where we could have 40 yards. Instead, we have seven. That's bad. That shouldn't be the case. First and 10, we're taking a shot. This is a shot play. Odell burned. We have time. Eli, can I get a flag? 
He's all over him. Can I get a better throw also? But can I get a flag? There's Eli. Evan Ingram. I fucking can't believe this game. I... Rodney McLeod picks me off. Was that my second or second, third of the game? I think it's my third interception. Dude. Eli, that, that's a, that he's open. He's open. I don't know what to tell you. I know I'm complaining a lot right now, and that's not exactly fun for everybody. That's an interception if I throw the ball, by the way. 100% an interception. Yet no one can catch it on my team. I'm full complain mode. Everyone hates it. I'm so, sorry. I have concerns, all right? It's not fair. Life isn't fair. Like, are you serious? How is that a completion? I don't understand. Sack him. Lorenzo Carter brings him down. Had to switch on. Otherwise, he probably would have had the edge and, and ran for 12 or 13. Big sack. We're getting so much pressure this game. It is awesome to see. It is so, is so good to see. Oh, they don't... Interesting. That's not Lane Johnson at right tackle, is it? Gotta send heat or something. It's gonna be the two-minute warning. Philly's coming back, dude. And it, I know we're passing the ball, but it's because I can't run the football effectively. So am I gonna run the ball twice and um, account for like five yards and then and then have a third down in completion or interception and, and turn over the ball anyway? I mean, ugh, it's just so frustrating with how inconsistent some things are. It is first and ten, though. He caught that. Okay. It's just not weighted the same. All Madden straight up cheats. It really does. And I don't, I don't get a jump on that. I'm, I'm right there underneath. I'm closer to the ball than any other Eagles linebackers ever been when they jump up 30 feet in the air to pick me off or knock the ball down. Yet I don't get anything on that. That's got to be a pick, Landon Collins! His third of the game. Oh, don't break. No, don't break a tackle. Don't stay in the end zone. His third pick. All right, Landon Collins really showed up. He's the player of the game, probably. That's going to be Philadelphia's final timeout. We got the first. A minute to play. We're going to have two more, two more runs, effectively. And um, hopefully we can pick up some type of decent yardage on him. And uh, I'll take a 10. I'll take a 10 spot. And that's going to be the game. The run blocking is just so, so bad. And part of that is my offensive line. I get that. It's just so bad, and I hate it. Landon Collins went off this game. Absolutely going to be the defensive player of the week. He had three interceptions. We dominated the game pretty much um, defensively. They had 234 passing yards at R112. Offensively, we're terrible. We really are. And a lot of that, or, or part of that is me being bad, for sure. A lot of that are things I can't control. Like when I'm throwing interceptions to open receivers, when Eli's either not throwing it accurately at all, or I have an open receiver, and then all Madden just totally destroys me when they jump up as high as they do to intercept the ball. That really stings. Carson Wentz was bad. He really was. I don't know what to tell you. Saquon Barkley, we have no blocking. I'm doing the best that I can. To, to do stuff, but at three and a half on the ground is about where we are right now. Zach Ertz was unstoppable. He caught everything. Odell on the art team was the only one with an interception opposed to their Odell, I guess. Sack wise, um, we were better today. Only let up two. I just tried to get the ball out really quickly a lot. As Alec Ogletree led our team in tackles. Tackles for loss. He also led. Quarterback sacks. Lorenzo Carter had two. Damon Harrison with one. Olivier Vernon with one. Dalvin Tomlinson with one. Interceptions, Landon really stole the show. Eli Apple also had one as well. Uh, Force fumbles, Landon Collins had one as well. No recovery though. And uh, then touchdowns, Eli Apple, of course, with the pick six. This was a really fun game to play, aside from the BS, but all Madden's gonna give you a lot of BS. It's how well can you combat that. That's gonna be the game though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.